So, I know it's a little bit sudden, but it is actually T minus one day to my flight back to Malaysia. I've already gotten my flight ticket, I've already gotten my uh, pre departure swab test, my approval for serving my quarantine at home. So, we yeah, are pretty much all set. Got a little bit of packing left to do. Finishing up what remains of my frozen food supply store. So I'm gonna try to finish as much of my chrysanthemum as I can. This used to be so routine, the flight, you know, home to, to KL. But not having done it for two years, you know, all the preparation you have to do actually does have the odd effect of giving it a bit of a sense of adventure. So oddly enough, I'm kind of looking forward to it. Okay, I think we're just about good to go. So I will check back with you guys tomorrow on the way to the airport. Here we go. I can't say I'm likely to miss this place too, too much. It's been two years that I'm just stuck in this area. So I'm headed to Terminal 3, which is also a little bit exciting because all my flights to Malaysia has been from Terminal 4. But I don't think Terminal 4 is operating at these times. Also, we're taking Singapore Airlines this time. Air Asia cancelled their flights, so it's not like I have a choice. So I'm headed to row 3 for check-in. It's very quiet. But that's not surprising. <laughs> So I've got about one hour until I need to board the plane. So I think I'm gonna head straight into the departure area and hope there's something reasonable to eat inside. The place is much more vibrant and alive than I would have imagined actually. Just that there are not many people around. But everything is open and the lights are on and everything. That's a very beautiful terminal actually, Terminal 3. Probably my favorite in Changi. So everything has actually been very hassle-free so far. About 40 minutes left. I'm gonna go ahead and get some lunch. Most of the eateries are actually closed, but for some reason the duty-free and souvenir stores are all operating. Mm. Eh, mediocre curry.
Okay, we're at gate 15. Gonna head straight there now. Go ahead and board the plane. Had to fill in this check-in form on the Mysajatra Malaysian contact tracing app before coming in. But otherwise everything has been pretty much routine. Look at that. Right, we are now in KLIA. Great flight. We had some pretty overcast weather, which meant a bit more turbulence, you know, going up and coming down. 
but it also made for some really spectacular cloud formations. Really enjoyed that. Still love flying. If I saw the business, I want to see if I can top up my Malaysian SIM card. Otherwise, I'll just have to try to use the Wi-Fi. And then next, I'll need to go and find out where I can do my swab test. See where I need to go to get my nose stabbed. So the trams are not running. We are going to have to take a shuttle bus instead to the main terminal. So that's where we're heading now. I may have screwed up big time here. I think I may have left my passport in the plane. So I'm gonna head back to the terminal and see if I can collect it. Yeah, I'm heading back to the gate now. Oh man. Guess I haven't been doing this for too long. A few moments later. Okay, so they were waiting for me to come and get the passport. But I went all the way to the other terminal and then came all the way back and that was too long. So, so the staff member actually went ahead to the arrival hall with my passport already. Which means I need to take the journey all the way back. Which is fine, it's my fault but... Okay, so I've actually already cleared uh, immigration. I've done my swab test, had my nose and the back of my mouth stabbed. And uh, wasn't too bad at all. It was a brisker affair than with the clinic in Singapore, but not much worse. And uh, it actually seems like I will not need to wait for the results before being released. I can actually just head home for quarantine immediately. That's what I've been told anyway. I'm now at the baggage reclaim. I'm gonna look for my baggage. Also, I haven't been charged for anything yet. Not sure if the swap test is supposed to be free for citizens, but if so, that's great because these swap tests, man, they are not cheap. Where are my bags? <laughs> Got it. So thanks to my misadventures, the carousel is already done and my flight is no longer on the list. But the staff member directed me to the right carousel and got my bag. Everyone in the airport has been very helpful today. And I'm out. I guess that was it. Nice. The arrival area here though seems pretty dead compared to uh, the departure area in Singapore anyway. I'm gonna see if I can top up my local number. So it turns out that I'm not allowed to enter any of uh, the stores, those few that are open, because I am still technically under quarantine. I'm wearing this. Can't make any purchases, can't top up my number. I'll have to do it online I suppose, but I'm beat. 
everything is done I should be able to just chill here until my parents arrive and then I'll get to go home Anyway, that pretty much concludes the present adventure, I suppose. I'm here, back at home, having my favorite drink called honeybee. They don't sell in Singapore, I don't think. Not sure why, but this stuff is amazing. So I guess to summarize things, not much has changed on the departure side. On the arrival side, there's a bunch of procedures, but surprisingly, things at KLIA were pretty much like a like a well-oiled machine and everybody was super helpful so if I didn't leave my passport in the plane I think things would have been really smooth sailing stay tuned for more adventures in Malaysia I suppose after I'm done being stuck at home for seven days all right see you guys in the next one